So, I'm actually building something for once. And, yep, that means it's a tank. However, this time the tank is a main battle tank. Recovered. Still. Also, it's already becoming night. No. Yeah, look at where the sun is. Okay, well, that's a good, <laughs> that's a freaking good way to start the section. Anyway, so before going to the version I have now, I started with the rough model first. Now, the fun part about this, yes, so all of these are blocks. If I go to isolation view on this, this is a block, that's a block, that's a block, and... Yeah, all this graph is basically just cubes. So this made modeling the the rough vehicle very fast. And one thing that helped was that I had done two sketches. So the front and the side of the tank, roughly how I thought it would look. And this is, relatively speaking, pretty quick to do, even though I'm slow at, you know, building anything. It took me about an hour, probably less than an hour, because I left the recording running, just test fitting the components. That was another thing I was doing. And here's where I would make any changes to the vehicle, you know. So just looking at this, the front of the turret, I didn't really like this. I would. I wouldn't change this on the rough model, I, I actually changed this on the like finer model. But yeah. Quick and easy to do. And you have something to work around if you're gonna build this out of props or as a Michigan in Blender. So one thing I can totally fucking uh dig <laughs> about like, the whole like neural fucking c computer interface bullshit is uh if you can like learn skills in like a very short period of time just by having like there's like a well, digital version me of and that, Warcraft, in, we're talking that can about like transfer it. it was like well you can go to sleep but you not really be sleep like continue learning or go do a hobby or something. you'd still be learning no but it would, it would be something where it literally just like pastes uh also that, that that effect is like fucking looney tunes <laughs> I mean, either way, uh, it but it's like cool, it's somewhere sure. it just pastes it just like digit it like pastes an imprint of uh those like what what specific neurons would where's be the fun in that <laughs> imprinted well it's like i don't know that that system is way cooler to me at least because it's like hey you can literally like learn an infinite number of skills which is like way more fucking practical and useful uh you can do whatever you want at that yeah, point where is the fun in that <laughs> What, what do you mean? Where's the fun in that? Where's the it's... fun in that? Is... Oh, there we go. Are you, Are you retarded? Are you me? Hello. Oh, rip. Is this the guy with the plasma gun? It is. Okay. With the rough model being done, I wanted to. I wanted to do armor detailing again. I actually did this for the Centurion. However, this time I wanted to do it in Blender because. Last I remember, I was pretty miserable doing that. And, uh, <laughs> just with Gary's map props. So we use meshes, and it, well, it was definitely easier than using props for sure, which is why I wanted to do it. So if I look at the upper glacis here, I might have to have Blender open, but. For something like this, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is get a plane and put a solidify modifier on it. So I'm pretty sure this is three inches thick and I can use booleans to cut it. Or rather I did use booleans to cut it. So cutting out inserts where the lower glacis can slide through it because it's thicker. So sometimes it's as easy as using a solidify modifier. And that's usually going to be where you just have a flat plate that's not um, shaped around or anything. It's not multi planar, let's just put it like that. I'm not sure if that's real or not. 
So the cases where it's not so simple is you can see the belly here is a single unit. You can almost think of it as sort of a weird welded casting, but this is actually a single unit and you cannot just use a solidify modifier here. It just doesn't work and you get these weird triangles and artifacts. So what I ended up doing here was just duplicating each face along its normal and joining them together. I don't really have a good way of doing like complex shapes, like thickening, it, thickening them up. Uh, however, now that I think of it, I think the best way to do it is to duplicate all the faces along their normal and use the knife intercept op operation. I think that would work the best. Haven't tried it though. I almost forgot to mention, on a modern tank like this, this doesn't make any sense. Normally you cannot see the seams on a modern tank. And the seams aren't as ridiculous on this one. Theoretically I could color these the same as the surrounding armor plating, so it would be barely visible, but I actually uh, enjoy myself here. It's kind of fun matching the plates together. I like thinking about how they would join even though it doesn't make sense in some areas. And as well as being able to see the armor plate thickness. So I should also mention the turret, so you might be thinking, wow, that's a very thick armor plate you have there. Uh, this is supposed to be a composite. So if you look at the turret on an Abrams or a Leopard 2, early model Leopard 2, you can almost see like where the interior of the fighting compartment is versus the like composite block on the tank. <laughs> Dev. Huh? Dev. It's like a video of like a like a it's like an early YouTube video of like a Smash Brothers tournament where in front of like a big audience and someone in the audience starts doing you know like uh fucking you know fucking Waluigi the fucking wah thing, right? Mm -hmm. That he does. Fucking Waluigi and the fucking wah thing he does. Just like his, I don't know, catchphrase, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So w one of the people in the audience just got, starts going, Wah! and then they, everyone in the audience starts like shouting, <laughs> just starts shouting, Wah! <laughs> over and over again. And the, like, w the lead guy in the tournament, like, takes the fucking microphone like the announcer's microphone and just says you're not fucking funny if you want to prevent cancer go stand in front of the shuttle bus that comes outside the hotel on every hour and even as he hands the headset back somebody just screams wang holy <laughs> fuck <laughs> you and, like, but he is so fucking furious while the announcer guy is just like got this huge fucking grill on his face that <laughs> just like that's something that you get banned on Gmod nowadays. <laughs> you'd get excommun you'd get excommunicated from all of ACF. So you said wah. <laughs> Dude. I I fucking love insane people who like harmless insane people. Sound like you have to make like a disclaimer, it's like uh harmless, harmless insane people. <laughs> yeah. P insane people who are just like in their own little world <laughs> online who just like upload the most insane stuff that's like oh my god I'm so fucking glad you exist because holy shit this is entertaining as fuck <laughs> and now I don't you got mobility Mary horrible thing. yeah mo yeah exactly like that's just a that's a harmless insane person <laughs> Immobility Mary, that's darn it. <laughs> Immo immobility, is that what you said? <laughs> no, no, I was just saying, why is the name okay, Mobility I've, freaking Mary? I thought, I thought you were saying that was their name was Immobility Mary, because that oh. would be really funny. <laughs> that would be I mean, well, so now we have an Immobility Mary. That would, that's so rude, Def. Holy shit, that is so fucking rude. Oh my god, that's more rude than they are. <laughs> oh, dude, that's legendary. 
this is this listen in my defense it sprang up because of a miscommunication it was a missed input you actually wait you so you actually said immobility mary no no i think it's just how much okay. i have i picked it up but now no, we you, have so immobility did you, did you or didn't you i did you <laughs> okay let's say all right so here is where we started to get into the meat of the whole building process so I have the base model done. I think Gary's mod, everything fits and I'm happy with the space I have. So I then went ahead and basically sketched the details out as well. Helps me get a feel for how the tank's gonna look. And you can just see the difference that makes a tank with, well, not even fake details versus tank with some really ugly details. Just because, you know, we'll play this here, play this there doesn't mean that it's going to carry on in the final model. So you can see even the, in the halfway model state I kept a lot of the gray box details around just having something to look at as opposed to nothing. If I were to move this. looks pretty barren anyway um again relatively speaking this is pretty fast to do as long as you keep everything very rough and symbolic I didn't even use precision alignment to do this I just sort of fizz gun the props into place and mostly using cubes I used to have two monitors you fucking bitch used to implying you don't anymore, so I really don't kind of a one. skill issue. Yeah, kind of a skill issue. Kind of a fucking dumbass issue, you know. <laughs> well it's because I, one of the screens was you're my talking laptop to him like you're talking to Colby. Uh, <laughs> talk to everyone I talk to Colby. <laughs> fucking retard. No fire fucking retard a wear computer looking ass. <laughs> Alien or computer like that. <laughs> Death is just like <laughs> I'm gonna spit up I'm gonna spit up my juice. I'm eating a pop tart. So. Yeah, he's gonna spit out his fucking pop tart on his computer. <laughs> if he fucking laughs any other dumb bitch. <laughs> Look at that fucking laugh! <laughs> 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 he actually is. He is <laughs> desperately trying to stop himself from spitting out his fucking pop tart, dude. Average. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna choke on it. He's gonna choke on his fucking pop tart. He's gonna lose it. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck eating your pop tarts, you fucking nerd. Ah, uh, yes. This is alright. That's about to say. <clears throat> Not while I'm recording. You're recording? Yes, I'm building a tank after all. I'm gonna thank the N word. No, not gonna do that. Mm -hmm. you sure about that? Yes. You got me. See, I'm Ace at playing chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, <laughs> uh, <there> <laughs> Erickson, why would you say that? <laughs> you need to keep that in, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> make it so that like a caption pops up that just makes sure that it says Erickson said this. <laughs> no. <laughs> I started off with the front of the tank. Just some panels here. I'm not sure what these are supposed to be. They're not supposed to be extra armor, but they're probably going to end up looking like that, so I might as well embrace it. And also the nose of the tank. So, I should actually mention 
it's basically inspired by like later armor upgrade packages for modern tanks or just new tanks in general and one of those tanks is the EMBT I can show you what that roughly looks like I'm not sure how well this is gonna come across but this is the beak of the tank I guess you can see my headlight assembly and I wanted to do like a bolt cover is of course towing eyes I guess near the on the lower glaciers I should say and here is kind of like a, an exploded view of all the props I use all of these are primitives well most of them are primi primitives um, there's no S props here and yeah one half-life tube prop so this is the first time I did like a recessed headlight so there's like transparent prop hiding the blackout light and the regular headlight and one of the things sort of about modern tanks is that they have like modern anything really is there's this sort of weird shaping material so I tried to like shape it around as well I'm not sure if that makes any sense to do the armor panels again these are all primitives I actually coded a need to to do the panels for me but it's you, it, kind of a waste of time you can do this all by hand and it, much the same faster I ended up just like parenting all this to a gate and duplicating it anyway so after doing the front of the hole then went on to other random pieces around the hole so we have the side skirts and the rubber I guess these camera modules once again I'm trying to take inspiration from modern armor upgrade packages I believe the idea from this one came from the M7 Bradley there's an M2 and M3 and now an M7 I guess got some antennas okay somewhat inspired by the ones in the Merkava and this weird little radar cowl or it's a radar fairing I'm not sure what this is supposed to be but it looks cool I think it looks cool now we have an exploded view of the track covers and the rubber. Once again, all primitives. And this primitive is actually beveled. And we come over to the finer components. I wanted to do something transparent for the cameras, kind of like with the headlights. But it's pretty small, so I just used a blacked out plate or plane in this case and you can see the construction there somewhat similar for the radar fairing I'm actually using some flat shading on this going into primitive and setting the normal really really low I, I believe that would be equivalent to auto smooth or smooth shading and then you have some random antennas and for once, using a Half-Life 2 prop again, this one's resized. It's a pain in the butt to work with, which is why it has a fading door on it. And it was parented to a gate. And this is actually an S-Props antenna. So I do want to say, I'm probably going to come back to some of these things. Because I got the tank to where it is and thought it looked good. And then saw what everybody else was building and realized... Yeah, maybe I could use some more work. One of those things is definitely the side skirts. It's just a bit barren. Same with the upper glacis here. Yeah, after the KKK wouldn't let me join. Fucking <laughs> kid. <laughs> you like that one, huh? Is that funny to you? Hmm. Maybe. Do you find funny? <laughs> Dude, that's totally gonna say that to the face of some KKK guy. I'll make sure to do it like over the internet and not like in some yeah. back country. 
they can actually it's freaking fucking, but dude i met can you imagine how upset they would get <laughs> you fucking actually like lose it because they're a bunch of like, like fucking babies huh, so that's what that feels like <laughs> yeah <laughs> See, how do you work PSX? You know, something funny, the, the fucking furry game, actually, the kicking mechanic in that game is very similar to what I had in mind for mine. Optimized graphics Except across the not platform, so, okay. Hmm. And also no vertical momentum. I so you, so you can't to scale the walls. Furry game. Yeah, because there's no point of referring it by name, you guys will just make a joke. <laughs> No, I'm not joking. Okay, so now the question is, how do I fucking apply this shit? I'm a furry. I guess I'm gonna make. I'm gonna have to make a new. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you put it like that, I'm kind of like. I guess I'm gonna have to make a new project just to like figure out how this fucking thing works. Yep. Freaking gateway drugs to it, man. True. You know what the gateway drugs are? The gateway drugs keep them like more human than normal, and then they slowly, slowly turn the dial. Yeah. Well, boom, the next thing you know, your fucking living room cat is... <laughs> your... What's that guy's name? Was it Onision? Oh, no. no, it wasn't Onision. Oh, wait, no, just stop. Onision, Onision was just like a predator. What was it? What's that guy's name? Wait, wait, he was a predator? Wait, wait what? Piece good. of crap. Hey guys, it's fucking windy out right now. Yeah. I've got like, I've got like a, a sound effect palette in my room. <laughs> No, good, good. Oh, yeah, I like how this sounds. <laughs> World Cup's gonna join. Wait, Dev, do your microphone as well. Uh, thirteen minutes. Oh wow! Wait. Oh okay. I'm peaking my microphone. Oh, Gosh second. darn it. Let's, let's give the give the good folks on the. Oh, fuck, I just... Man, I'm really confused right now. Let's give the I'm good folks on YouTube. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> sound like in, uh, like, huh? That's why I love. Okay, I need to yeah, stop. The crunch. What are you doing? Why isn't it more prevalent that, because we, we just had APEC, whatever it's called, why isn't it more prevalent that people just like, opportunists just assassinate world leaders they don't like? Yeah, people don't do that enough. <laughs> oh, man. Looks at camera. <laughs> you should kill a politician now. Yeah. I have this Even underage like... tank that I'm just jamming thick plates on. <clears throat> Sorry, do you want to repeat that for the cameras? Yeah, I, so this tank is pretty young, it's underage, you could say. And I'm just dumping hot <laughs> wheels. <laughs> the <of> voice <laughs> that you're famous in, it's like I've got you in like a phone call. <laughs> like, it literally sounds like a phone call. Like, it's like I'm calling you from like a studio in like Azerbaijan. It's just like, hey boy. Listen, my friend. It's legal in my country. <laughs> Almost then. Well, for this part anyway. So we finally get to the turret. Starting with the gun mantlet, which is another thing I might come back to. But the breakdown for this is I just used a primitive cube that I clipped with other primitive cubes. And also a circle. Um, first real detail I did was the gunner's primary sight. I guess. And this was not fun. So remember, once again, it is a modern vehicle. And I wanted to do the whole uh, angles and edges and bevels crap. Um, this one wasn't too bad, admittedly. At least the main housing. Should have really used... Uh, well, actually, I'll talk about that later. But technically this has almost like two sections to it. There's section on the left, section on the right. 
Looks okay. Next up were these weird turret modules. The first one was the CIWS module. This thing's gonna have an APS. So this is just a bunch of clip plates. Kind of annoying to do. And again, I might I might change this later. I don't really like the way this looks so far. So this was basically done on the fly. I was just putting plates together and trying to see what that looks like. The next plate I would actually do in Blender first, just messing around, seeing what kind of shape that would make until I got something I was sort of happy with. And then I recreated it in Gary's Mod with props. Now this was really not fun. This took so long <laughs> because it's just a bunch of tiny clip plates once again. And it doesn't help that there's a recess in here for the camera module. And I had to do the clips on each side as well. This, so that that's a, that's something I forgot. I clipped it on this side, but I had to basically clip them in parallel to each other. So that was just not cool. <laughs> RWS here was the last thing I modeled. And I did say I had an idea of how to do the weird angles and bevels. Even then it looks like a glorified box. Let's take a look at it. So this is the base. This is actually technically part of the turrets. It goes in the turret mesh. That's what it looks like. And here is the body of the RWS. Um... It looks like a mess of props, but using some wedges, some cubes with bubbles on them, and some clips in places. Then you have the site housing, which again is another glorified box with beveled uh, cubes on them, using the skew function in primitive. And there's a pane for the optic. Once again, basically just cubes and the actual gun body itself. So it's almost like an oscillating turret assembly. You can see it's able to pitch up and down. I'm not sure how you would load this thing, but something tells me I have to come back to this one as well. The gun body is also really simple using beveled cubes. Uh, they should be spaced apart some more, but whatever. And here are the barrel shapes, hexagons. And then there's the sight housing on the gun body, which looks just like the sight housing on the base. So to actually do the optics, which there are optics in here, but they're barely visible, probably for the best, and also for the gunner's primary sight. Decided to try to use some Half-Life 2 props again, just for good old times sake. So, that's what those look like. This is the top site for the base. And this is the bottom site. You can see it uh, over here. I'm not sure why I use rectangular Half-Life 2 props. It kind of defeats the point, but it is what it is. And something I didn't make an exploded view for is the primary site. Is all these weird like uh, I was like grind. I think they're called grinders, but two grinders, television, and like a street light. That's basically it as far as catching up to where I left off. Which means I have to model on this some more. Oh well. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but like one day at work, my dad was talking about. <laughs> Okay, death. That's not how you like. like. That's not how you. That's not a segue that you just go. I don't sure if I ever mentioned this. I don't ever mentioned this, but like, like you were talking about yeah. Fleece Johnson and all that. But he he couldn't. Um, <laughs> my dad it was like because he he remembered the lines like he, the guy going out like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and like he couldn't remember the name, so I I of course I wasn't thinking before I spoke, but I on impulse said, "Oh, you mean Fleece Johnson." <laughs> 
Did I get you like a fucking whooping? They have like a Freudian slip there. I wonder what my hour count on a. Like my favorite websites would be. <laughs> Your my favorite, favorite websites. websites. <laughs> my favorite websites. Uh, it's like. I like this one in particular. Fat bitches fighting over food.com. <laughs> <laughs> Def you're a green rizzle on. Does that increase my chances of scoring with the yeah, goat? Boy, with what? <laughs> <laughs> Just like uh, an actual double take from Warcraft. Yeah, like like, 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 like <laughs> an insane Yeah, assault. that's what I want to do with the goat. <laughs> He actually just a complete breakdown. No, 32 HP and his furry. No, his furry boy. Bro, he's got like a pregnant furry person um, as his no. emblem. <laughs> I died to him. Death no. saying um, no. Meanwhile, literally five seconds ago. The goat is different. The goat is the goat. The goat is the goat. True. I feel like one of the most like fascinating. Fascinatingly funny events to happen um, is like the you know Top Gear. Uh -huh. You know the thing where they went to Alabama or they were doing like a U.S. road trip. Yep. This is like a very early one or very early special that they did, where they they went to Alabama and one of the things they did was uh, on the sides of their vehicles. They, they, like the challenge was to make it to the border and write things to get the others killed on the side of their vehicles is this the joke um so i no so like I, for like a bunch of so uh one of them had like i'm by written on the bonnet another one uh <laughs> had like nascar's <laughs> nascar sucks country and western is rubbish and they actually get like attacked at a petrol station by like a bunch of people <laughs> who then like chase them down the road for a bit but it's just like, bro, it's like, how do you, how do you see the line country and western is rubbish and assume immediately that they mean it? <laughs> like, like painted on, like poorly on the side of a truck. Hey, let's make work up mad. I play World of Tanks every now and then, I think it's fun. Okay. He knows we're trying to make him mad, therefore he's like actively trying to not be mad. He has mad damage resistance right now. Yeah. <laughs> he's got mad. Got, like, I have mad uh, <laughs> a damage attenuation. Uh. Yeah, I love the Chinese government. I love the Chinese government. For sure. For sure. Well, at least Warcop isn't going to get taken to a concentration camp that doesn't exist in China. No, I've already explained. <laughs> already... <laughs> a concentration camp that doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> I've already explained Jesus, my hatred fire. for China before. They definitely have me on a list. They're like, this motherfucker, yeah, put him at the front of the line. This dumbass, loudmouth. Well, it, I mean, that's systematic racism if you hate mm. your own race. True, true. Very true. Oh? Uh -huh. true. Yeah, Def, you would know a thing or two, right? About what? <laughs> I'm, I'm, he, yeah, that, I, I was about to, like, I was about to say, but wait, oh, wait, yeah, of course, Def hates, Def hates black people. <laughs> <laughs> he is black. He is literally on the Caracas. I feel like 75% of black people hate black people. Yeah. <laughs> if you sure. see my coworker and the stuff she said about like... <laughs> I can't confirm or deny those statistics. I am uh... <laughs> I can. <laughs> At this time, I cannot confirm or deny those statistics. Though that is literally what you're doing. <laughs> you are the frog in that analogy. Yeah, it's true. You, you're just staying in the pot instead of fucking leaving. Oh yeah, but yeah, for frogs it's like they just don't care. Yeah. They're like, oh this is nice, and then they die. That's why the French like eating them because they, they don't fight. I think that's <laughs> that might have been the best joke I've ever made. I didn't hear it. <laughs> You should hop into a pot with a frog and boil yourself to death. Listen. Oh yeah, if... that's why you're black. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're right.
Whoever's <laughs> wheezing is not making it any better. <laughs> thought I was the one with asthma here. <laughs> I mean, that's the first time I've ever gotten a bro out of Faven. <laughs> It's the first time I've like, actually heard Fabian just, like, get stunned. <laughs> Fabian, you good? Yeah. <laughs> Six. <laughs> just... Did you say bra? No. Oh, I'm fucking crying. What did you say? <laughs> How? It's a fucking creature with broken legs throwing rocks at me. Get out of here, Stephen Hawking. Go fuck some kids. Uh, well... <laughs> he actually did just leave. <laughs> he actually just ran away and literally just left. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the end for this video. Nice. Gotta go spam some more props on this thing. So, until I get done with that, I'll be seeing you around.